Hey, what is up, everybody? It's the dude. It's the rebel. It's the guy that steps to the next level. It's me, King Sergeant, aka Geek Dude, Dude Rebel, 1192, Sergeant Crazy. Ha! And uh, from the start, I was known as K Dog. And until now, I'm still known as K Dog, K Dude Double G. Welcome back, everybody, to another Key Clip episode. This is Key Clip number 35. Now, on my last couple of reviews, we have reviewed the Super Nintendo console the Sega Genesis, the at game version console, and also the first Sega game that I actually purchased for the first time in life. It was OutRun 2019. So now, uh, on to the next game. I'm going to pick out a Super Nintendo game, and this right here is a good classic. And I believe and I believe everybody played it at least once. Now, I know they played the uh, original version of it, but this one right here... I would say I would, I would not sell this one. I mean, unless I had a duplicate, then I have to. But to ladies and gentlemen, to some of you, you know him. To me, I love him. And what better way to show my love than to play this one? Super Mario World. Every game and every company has their mascots. Now with this guy, you can tell it's going to be a great game. Super Mario World is probably one of my favorite, uh, somewhat favorite console for the Super Nintendo. Now, first off, this one, um, I played this on the Game Boy Advance and actually completed it. Now, of course, that one is uh, different because in the Game Boy version, um, you actually you can also play as uh, Luigi, and it was it was real cool. And of course, you know, I, he was uh, I think I think I picked him at a couple of times, but of course, in this one, you gotta have Mario. So, um. So the whole storyline of this one is is it, this is kind of a it's kind of like the original Mario Brothers only this time everything's more is more colorful you have more enemies you know there's still Goombas in here there's more there's still Koopas um, I think there's some Hammer Brothers I, I believe um, some of the new enemies oh, and also you have Boos I think they um, I think they may went to the original I, I think but um, yeah there's Boos on here. Uh, some of the new enemies, there are uh, magical, there's magical Koopas, there's dry bones, they're basically the dead uh, Koopas. Um, what else? There's also the football Koopas, they're also known as tackling Koopas. Um, there are, and then, yeah, I like that, I think there's still some uh, hammer bros in this one. Um, some of the items on here are the, uh, of course you have the mushroom, you have the one up. Uh, you still have the flame and flower. Uh, if you remember from two, from the Super Mario Three, he has the uh, flying suit, also known as the uh, the Tukuru suit. It's basically like a flying raccoon or a squirrel or something. Uh, in this one, as you can tell, he's not wearing a suit. He's basically wearing a cape, and that's only you can only get the cape if you get the feather. And the flying part, completely easy. Like the other one, he's basically wagging his tail. This one, he's grabbing his cape. You have to get you gotta get some good running distance, jump, and then you gotta keep pressing up and down repeatedly. It's kinda tired on the thumbs, but hey, it's what better way to fly. Um The game itself. Uh like I said, it's just like it's like number one and like number three put together. Uh you have more of a bit you have more of a bigger map. And you have more you have bigger map, you have um you have a couple of castles. And yes, Bowser, of course, he has he has to be in this one. Um, but the thing is, unlike the original Mario Brothers, you basically fighting Bowser in every castle. Uh, in this one, you are fighting his kids. And guess who the mom is? Apparently, it's supposed to be Peach. I don't know how that happened, but if I had to find out, hey, I probably uh, put that on a Facebook status or Twitter. Either way, it's gonna be shown. Um, so yeah, each of the um, Castles, like I said, it's uh, ruled by his kids. Uh, I don't know their names, but uh, I know some of them were on a Mario. I think it was on a Mario Kart on the arcade version, as I remember. Uh, and in each in each of them, they do their own. There's a certain way to beat them. Uh, I have made it past the first one so far, and that one that was kind of easy. He's basically on a uh, like a balancing rock. And what you have to do, just keep stepping on him so then he'll, like, push back a little bit. And once you get him all the way, he'll be falling into the lava. Then, you, sorry, then you're done. And then once Mario leaves the castle, he holds himself an egg. 
and that's part of the OCAs. Oh, and also the uh, point of the game is to first get this Yoshi, and then you have to capture all of his brothers, I think. They're all in eggs, and they're all in, still in separate castles. Um, and besides the castles, before that, there's um, it's a place I like to call the Banshee House. And basically, it's like it's a haunted house filled with ghosts and uh, mag magical type doors. Um, it's kind of quick. The bo the booze they will hurt you, so you gotta be careful. It's not like a a theorem. Um, but otherwise, great game. Uh, and like I say, you can actually uh, ride on Yoshi on this one. It's pretty nice. Hey, Yoshi, he can basically uh, he has a sorry, it's still itching. Um, he can basically stick his tongue out when he get in the Koopa. If you get a red, if you get a green Koopa, he either spits it out or you can swallow. Uh, if it's a red, he will spit fire. And if I'm right, I think if you get a blue, he can fly, like for like a certain amount of time. But uh, yeah, you know, it's it's like I said, this is a pretty good game. I played this on Game Boy. I'm pretty sure a whole lot of other people did. Um, and yeah, like I said, I completed it, and it was hard, especially for Bowser's part. But uh let's get let's just see what it was like on Super Nintendo here. Okay. Get this game set up. Yeah, like I said, this is a this is like really good color. Yeah, like I said, I only had the game for like uh I think about a month. Cause I or yeah I think I ordered it online I believe yeah so um before we get to my uh, other part of the stage I'm gonna show you guys the outside so there we go so this is basically the whole map of the game it's like I said it's pretty uh wide and variety that's the first part of the uh, stage and then right here this is gonna lead you to the second part and like I said right there those are the uh, haunted houses and that that hole all the way to the left where the uh, left arrow is um i forgot what that's a supposed to be like an underground stage and if i'm correct there's like a hole in the river that's supposed to be a uh, secret part of another stage i might go back there and do it um it's like i said i was in there that's where the third castle is um to get up here you have to go through I think, what do you have to go through? Yeah, you have to go through that pipe, and then you come out, going right through here, and then you have to find a way to get up to that fourth castle. Uh, there's more worlds inside the forest. You can't see it here, because you have to go in there. Uh, and that leads you up to the fifth. Then there's another house. And then, of course, in here is going to be more worlds, and that's going to lead you to your six. Now, and also, yeah, there's also a uh, secret stage, like right in this big area, of course. You got, you got to think like an open area like that, and especially with a wreck ship, there's going to be a, a secret stage. And then once you're done to get to the last level, there's a, um, I don't know where it's at exactly, but somewhere around it, it's a, um, I think like a star. I believe, yeah, it's like a star or a platform, and it takes you in outer space. And that right there is, I call it uh, the star skies. Or basically, like I said, it just takes you out of space. So I'm going to go back to the... Uh, part and we'll show you how this game is so basically this is like the Super Nintendo version of a uh, cave as you uh, remember from the uh, original version it was kind of black in the background and it was kind of uh, green. Like I said, they actually did good color in this part. Oh wait, I forgot to show you something once I get off here. And another co and a cool thing about this, that'd be cool if they did this in the original. Um, now of course you still have your run. The cool thing about it, he basically does a uh, sp like spinning jump. There we go. And, and what I just grabbed right there was a feather. You can tell because he has a cape. And one thing about the cape, when you jump, 
Ooh. When you jump, like, without it, you know, you just doing... You doing a quick jump like that. Yeah, but then when you hold the jump longer... Yeah, when you hold the jump longer, you actually, uh, have that chance of gliding a little bit. Going down the pipe. Yeah, and this part of the stage is gonna get kind of slippery. There's like a way of getting that thing. I'm trying my best to get it. And those things right there, those will help you uh, run. Oops. Try it again. Oh! Okay, did not know I was going to be hitting the lava. So I guess we're going to have to try this again, yeah. So you gotta get, you gotta uh, be careful when it comes when it comes to the flying, because you don't know where you're gonna be landing and hitting next. I'm trying to do my best to finish this right here. Nothing's uh, at random when it comes to the feather or the, uh, what should I say, or the uh, flower power. But I kind of like this one better. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're gonna have to stop right there. <laughs> Jeez. I wanna keep that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. I'll try to finish that later. But um, so in short, uh, at the end there's gonna be like a field goal post with a um, like a white tape or something, and then of course you go through it, then you get some um, extra bonus points. But yeah, that, okay, that just sucks. Sorry about that. But um. That actually sums it up for Super Mario World. Like I said, great game. I recommend it for anybody that's in a uh, classic Super Nintendo games. This would be a great collection. You got to have this. Also, even if you have the Game Boy Advance, I recommend get the uh, remake of it. Because it's still good. It's still the same way. Same play. Also plays Luigi. Uh, and that will wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Key Clip number 34. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, I will try to finish that stage again. Um... So, now's your turn to do something for me. 
Y'all can like and comment on it. Y'all can follow me on Facebook. I'm Keenan Sargent, a.k.a. Do level 92 of course, Facebook.com slash Do level 92 capital Do capital V, 92. Y'all can hit me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm also Do level 92 on there. And until next time, I'll see y'all when I want to see y'all. Peace out.